Hello everyone. So every single Tuesday over on my Instagram page, I do uh, ask me any type of question. And the most often question I get asked is, how did you get into your college program back in like 2004? Uh, today I'm going to go through and kind of go through the entire process of what happened in my job application process. Let's do this. Now first off, I can't stress it enough, this was back in 2003, so I'm sure a lot of the college program application process has changed completely from how it was back then. But let's talk a little bit about it. So first off, I started college back in 2002. And in 2002 I learned about the college program on my college campus. They actually had college recruits coming to campuses and talking about the college program. I went to the meeting and I was really interested, but at the same time I had just started college and I was really unsure if I really wanted to go do the college program right then and there. So throughout the whole next year, I kept on thinking about why did I not take that opportunity to go apply and do an interview for the college program? Because as you guys probably know by now, Disney is like this massive thing in my life. I absolutely love Disney and the entire year, I kept on thinking, oh, if they come back to my college campus next year, I'll apply. Well, luckily, they did on November 17th, 2003. So how the college program interview process happened was they would have it so a few recruiters would actually come to your campus and they would go through like an hour presentation about what the college program was. Now, these presenters were actually people who had done the college program before. Now, me being a huge Disney fan, I just kind of assumed that everyone in that auditorium was also a huge Disney fan. So when the presenter said, you know, we like to talk about like Disney history and stuff. Does anyone know what tomorrow signifies? And I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm thinking, there's no way they're gonna call on me because everyone probably has their hand raised. Then I looked around and there's not a single person in the entire auditorium that had their hand raised. And they said, you, do you know what tomorrow is? And I said, yeah, it's Mickey and Minnie's 80th birthday. And they said, you are correct, sir. And everyone else looked at me like I was some sort of weirdo. So at the end of the presentation, we had to sign up for an interview that would be the next day. And these were group interviews. So there was one person doing an interview along with two or three people actually being interviewed or the interviewees. Now, I started to freak out at this point because up until this point in my life, I always dreamed of working at Walt Disney World. And here I was literally like, you know, 16 hours away from this lifelong dream being a possibility. So the next day I went to the interview and it was me and one other guy being interviewed with the interviewer. And while we were sitting there talking, he was kind of, it was kind of like a casual conversation. He was asking us things like why we like Disney, why we want to work at Disney. Um, what type of Disney fan are we? And when he asked me that question, I said, I am a huge Disney fan. I am the person yesterday who answered the question about Mickey and Minnie's birthday being today. Yes, it was the 80th anniversary of Mickey and Minnie and Steamboat Willie, the day that we were being interviewed. When he realized that I was the person who had answered that question, the entire interview took a completely different course. All of a sudden, there was no longer things of, why would you want to work at Disney or this? It became a conversation with just me and this guy about Disney history, Disney fun facts, everything else, while the other guy who I was being interviewed with just kind of sat there kind of shocked because we were really nerding out. And I don't think he was really a big Disney fan. I think he just wanted to get away from school for a semester. So he began to ask me questions like, if I could work anywhere on Walt Disney World property, where would I want to work? And I said, I want to, I want to work at Peter Pan's Flight in Fantasyland. And he said, okay, but what if you can't work attractions? What would you want to do? I had said, I want to do anything if I'm in Fantasyland. And he said, you really like Fantasyland, don't you? And I said, yeah, it's my favorite area of all of Walt Disney World. And he said, well, you know, but what about the screaming kids and stuff like that? And I said, I'm an elementary school like major. That's fine by me. And the more and more we talked, the more and more I had this strong gut feeling that I got it. But then something down deep was kind of like, what if you don't get this? Like, what if you've had this dream your entire life and now it's just gonna end? What's gonna happen? So at the end of the interview, I remember walking back to my dorm and calling my parents and saying, I think maybe I've got it, but at the same time, I'm not sure. And my parents said, we're you know, we believe in you, we think that you can do it. That's, by the way, dead on impersonation of my parents, that's how they sound. Uh, and, and in my head, I kept on saying like, oh man, like, I'm not, like, what if I didn't get it? And I started like, you know, when you just start second guessing yourself, 
Well, the way that the process worked back then, again, I'm not sure if that's how it works now, but you had to wait a few weeks to receive an email. And I had to wait one week, two weeks, three weeks, and then it was finals week. It was literally like the middle of December, and I received an email from one of our college reps who was in charge of hosting the entire college program presentation. As soon as I saw that header, I freaked out. I looked at my roommate and I said, I need you to leave the room right now because either I'm gonna cry from happiness or I'm gonna cry because I'm just miserable. So I opened up the email and the email said, congratulations on getting into the Walt Disney World College program. And it went through all these different details, but then at the end it said, you will receive an email later on about being accepted into the college program. And I was like, wait a minute, I thought this was me getting into the college program. Literally, two minutes later, I received another email. This other email was from the same lady, and she said, I apologize for sending this to you guys now, because not all of you were accepted into the Walt Disney World College program. Only five of you were. And this was an email to about 35 people. And in my head, I started to freak out. Did I get in or did I not? So I waited for about an hour, just staring at the computer, wondering, did I get in? Did I not get in? I really have no clue. And now that I know that there is like a one in seven chance of me getting in and a six in seven chance of me not getting in, I was freaking out like no other. All of a sudden an email popped up with just the title, congratulations. I clicked it and the very first line said, on behalf of the Walt Disney World Resort, we would like to extend this invitation for you to be part of the Walt Disney World College program in the spring advantage of 2004. I cried. And then I ran down the hallway in the dorm that I lived in yelling, I'm going to Disney World, I'm going to Disney World. But it didn't stop there. Then I went out onto the campus and I started yelling, I'm going to Disney World, I'm going to Disney World. And then I went to a professor that I knew who told me that it was very childish of me to like Disney, knowing very well that he was doing a lecture with some of my friends at that point. And I ran into the lecture and I yelled out, I'm gonna work at Disney World, I'm gonna work at Disney World. And he said, why on earth would you wanna do it? And because I said, because it's my biggest dream come true. And that was that, I got into the Walt Disney World College program. Now at that point, all I knew was I was gonna be working in Fantasyland. Now at that point, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter, there was no social media pretty much whatsoever. So we had no way to know who was going down with us, what role we had besides knowing like the specific of custodian, but I didn't know where I was gonna be located. I didn't know who my roommates were gonna be. I knew absolutely nothing. There was no way for us to know any details about our college program experience until we would arrive, which would happen the following month. Now, that's just a completely different story because the college program I could talk about for hours and hours and hours and hours. So we're gonna end our video right here. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions about the process, again, this is back in 2003, 2004, let me know down in the comments below what questions you have about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at my college program experience or the application process for it and as always if you're not already subscribed to this channel make sure you are subscribed by pushing this button right over here and until next time we'll see you guys all a little later Buh bye bye